this really beautiful, very peaceful landscape. These slightly bony trees covered in snow. Their branches reaching towards the train. And we pass occasional homesteads, sometimes painted colours, um, otherwise white or just left as they are. Occasional stone houses, more important buildings, I suppose, but essentially fairly isolated. Um, little uh, clusters of houses and then nothing. And then maybe nothing for quite a long time and then a few more clusters and so on it goes. Um, last night was, uh, you could say, it was a, a night of activity. <laughs> we, um, first of all, when we, uh, we had great difficulty finding a taxi and belted through the streets and got to the Hotel Bristol um, where there was a commissioner and a taxi standing. Oh, oh, that was so wonderful. Um, so off he drove us uh, as fast as he could because, well, we were all right, to the station, to the East Station, where we bought a whole load of provisions. And, um, and as I was, uh, I was waiting at the foot of the steps and there was, I was rather struck by a large suitcase that was standing there completely alone, unattended, nobody questioning it being there, you know, whereas I think we in London hear so many notices, if you see anything peculiar, you know, notify whoever it might be, um, and uh, there that suitcase stood and people passed it back and forth and I suddenly thought, I wonder if it's going to blow up. <laughs> I saw another large kit bag. Um, I don't know whose it was, with Ukraine written all over it. Um, and I think that must have been a soldier's kit bag. It, that's what it looked like to me. We um, got up onto the platform and there were a couple of guards demanding our passports very suspiciously, but mercifully there was a, a Ukrainian-Canadian boy who could tell them that we were British. <laughs> Onto, onto the train in this tiny, tiny compartment. Um, it's about a six foot drop from my, from my, um, my bunk up above and uh, with a swinging st uh, steps uh, to get me down. And uh, we eventually went to bed at about 11 I suppose and then suddenly the most incredible it must have been about midnight um, the most incredible um, noise first of all I heard a, a woman's voice it sounded like as though she was shouting and in my fevered ears it sounded like rubs, rubs. and <laughs> all the lights came on the doors were banged open and that was the beginning of passport control uh, and uh, we were sitting here i was a sort of miserable crouched figure uh eventually they came round looked at the passports that was that went back to bed climbed up again and um and then a couple of hours later it started all over again so this would have been the Ukrainians. And um, and this time they took our passports. It was the same procedure, you know, the banging of the doors, opening of the doors, turning on the lights. Um, there's a baby next door, which cried occasionally, but was amazingly quiet. And, um, and yeah, and so now we are on our way to Kiev, and I suppose we'll be there in a, in a couple of hours. Um, something has struck me 
There appear to be very few taxis in Poland, or at least, or in, in, in Warsaw, no sort of roaming taxis. You know, they're all taken. It's rush hour. Ah, uh, yeah, rush hour. Well, and rush hour starts really early. That was the other And there were a lot of taxis, they were all taken. Yeah, but they were all taken. Yeah. Anyway, so today we'll, yeah, go to the hotel. And um, I'll make contact with Alex, and um, we need to go through the script. Um, and he'll do the, he's going to stage manage it. So there are a lot of sound cues and lighting that's got to be sorted out with Polly on Zoom between now and tomorrow. So uh, quite a lot to do, really. And I will hopefully meet up with a cameraman. Um, Serhi, um, who sounds great and obviously is wonderful, is I think probably beyond my budget, um, given the fact that this is really so unstructured, it's really spontaneous. It's, um, I'm not sure how I could you know, best make use of this time. Anyway, I shall be meeting Hopefully, somebody else sent by Max in um, from London. Okay.